<laughs> Lee Sherrill, ladies and gentlemen. Leg. First, I want to apologize. I wore high heels here tonight, but I switched to my sneakers from the Unfuckable Collection. Ah! Because, no, no lie, because I broke my back. I have a hard time walking. And everybody says, oh my god, that's insane, Lee. How does somebody break their back? Well, I fell off a mechanical bull. I didn't actually fall off. He tossed me aside for a younger broad. Yeah, go ahead and laugh at my pain, but it was really serious. I ended up in the trauma center, which turns out is where they give you the bill. And my insurance is the worst. Instead of sending me to the Martin Luther King Hospital, I had to go to the Don King Hospital. <laughs> you know, they blame Obama or Obamacare, but I think it's the old beds, uh, excuse me, the senior citizens that are ruining our health care system. My 93-year-old stepmother was in the doctor four times a week, and the doctor tells her she needs a mammogram. She's 93! What are they going to do? Point the camera at her knees? <laughs> this woman was mean, ugly, and cheap. And those were her good qualities. You know, she went on to live to 99 years old. She was the original realtor to the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> you know, and I never understood what my father saw in her. Except he was cheap, too. He was so cheap, he had a coupon for his own cremation. <laughs> and that was the Sonny's Barbecue. <laughs> you know, since I broke my back, I, now I have the, the posture of a cocktail shrimp. <laughs> but besides that, I gained so much weight. I, didn't, I couldn't work out, so I joined Weight Watchers. Has anybody here joined Weight Watchers or done Weight Watchers? It's great, isn't it? I lost a ton of weight. I didn't even have to show up. You could just, you could just phone it in, which is what I did. And it goes like this. You call up and it says, if you think you're 20 pounds overweight, press 1. If you think you're morbidly obese, press 2. And if you haven't gotten laid in the past three years, press the pound sign. So I pressed the pound sign, and it said, you're fat, what do you expect? <laughs> oh, sure, I used to be a hot tamale, but somehow I morphed into an old sea hag. Now Rosie O'Donnell won't even give me a looky little. I even had to buy the bull a couple of drinks. <laughs> bitching about the sexual harassment. I welcome a little sexual harassment. <laughs> and date rape? At least the guy is considerate enough to make a date. <laughs> I just, I'm telling you, I have no luck with guys. Most of the guys I know suffer from small timers disease. <laughs> and these are the guys that say size doesn't matter. Penetration would be nice. <laughs> and I, I picked all the wrong guys. Leave it to me, I picked the only Jew in Miami with no money. <laughs> and his name was Ira. Oh. Only a Jew could name their kid after a tax shelter. <laughs> Abusive. I asked him to get me a boob job. He got me the lunch shift at Hooters. <laughs> hey, could, let, let me ask you guys something. Is anybody here from a dysfunctional family? Yeah, like no shit. Who the hell is it? <laughs> you know, everybody hides behind the diagnosis bipolar. Everybody's bipolar. That's a lot of crap. I'm bipolar. I'm bipolar light. I see you got mental baggage, it's Lionited, they'll be sure to lose it. My mom 
mother liked to drink. What a boozer. Boy, oh boy. She liked to drink vodka, cream, and Metamucil. <laughs> a white roughage. <laughs> we said, Ma, get some help. Why don't you go to Alcoholics Anonymous? She says, what's anonymous? I know everybody. <laughs> She was such in denial that doctors found cork in her urine. <laughs> you know, everybody gets on my case. They say, Lee, you know, you gotta be more caring, more kind, more benevolent. Why don't you do something nice, like help the homeless? They can't work. They have a drug and alcohol problem. Am I missing something? I have to go to work to support my drug and alcohol problem. alcohol problem till I did my taxes. <laughs> I had to this Jim Beam, Johnny Walker, and Jose Cuervo with the penguins. <laughs> and, and, and you know what kills me? That stupid little sign they hold up, will work for food. What the hell do you think I do? <laughs> and you know what really annoys me? When they grub cigarettes, Cigarettes are up to eight bucks a pack. You can't even afford to get cancer. <laughs> it costs you eight bu uh, 20 bucks just to cough on the corner. <laughs> and um, I smoke Newports. Why? Because they give you a free baseball cap every time you buy a pack of cigarettes. I figure I could wear it for chemotherapy. <laughs> Avenue. Does anybody uh, know Little Ethiopia? Are you familiar with that area? Yeah. Little Ethiopia? They have a lot of uh, cafes and restaurants there. And I'm thinking, what the hell do they know about food? <laughs> Aren't they starving to death? <laughs> but I'm adventurous. I tried it, right? I go in, do you know I talked to the maitre d' for 10 minutes before I realized he was a coat rack? <laughs> I ordered shish kebab, they served me a toothpick with a fly on it. <laughs> Sir, does it come with rice? He said, would that be one grain or two? <laughs> Ethiopia, and they're killing me, I swear to God. Then, I get stopped on the way here tonight. Police really have a sense of entitlement now. I get stopped by a lady cop, of all things. It says police dog at the side of the car. It was her. <laughs> Put makeup on this broad would be like putting rouge on a horse. And she was nasty, too. She says, get out of your car. I want to search it for drugs. I'm an old lady, drugs. I looked at her, I said, go ahead, I already did. <laughs> you know, before I got one to leave in passing, Sunda, my mentor, my teacher, my friend, she says, Lee, make sure you invite industry people here so they can see you. But everybody in this town is either a writer, a producer, an actor, but they don't have two nickels to rub together. And I said to one guy, hey, why don't you get a job? He says, a job? I'm an actor. All I know how to do is act. I said, well, why don't you act like a waiter and get me a lucky tired? <laughs> 